For the next piece of geometry, we're going to build the soap dispenser. So I'm going to go to the Images tab. I'm going to load another image. I'm going to go back to the Items tab, also the Quality View here. And I'm going to make this mesh invisible and this backdrop item invisible. I'm going to create a new backdrop item, which will have the soap. And which I'm going to gang select and resize this down. Also have some transparency. Also I'm going to create a new mesh item and I'm going to build, I'm going to start building the soap dispenser. For that I'm going to use a cube. I'm going to zoom in here, push this down. And I want to have the same value for the X and the Z. So that would be 500 millimeters. And for the Y, I'm just going to bring this up a bit. I'm going to drop the tool with spacebar. Polygons, select the top poly. And R for scale, and scale this uniformly from the middle. B for bevel. Shift this. R for scale. Scale it uniformly. B for bevel, more shift, R for scale, B for bevel, scale that in, and one more bevel right here, and scale this into spacebar, drop the tool. Let's go to the perspective view, and before I subdivide this, I want to uh, create some more geometry around it. So um, I'm going to select these polys, mesh edit, loop slice, in the count of two, symmetry on, click, and bring those closer to the edge. So I have 10% and 90%. Spacebar to drop the tool. Select those two polygons, loop slice, drop the tool again. Now I'm going to have another one running right in the middle in both sides. So loop slice, this time in the count of one. Click, drop the tool. Do the same thing here. Let's create a little bit one here. The count of one, but this time free. I'm going to move this up towards the edge, very close. Same thing here, but I'm going to go the opposite way. And if I subdivide this with the tab key, we have a nice smooth object. All right, now, in order for us to go and build the upper mechanism here, we're going to have to build and create more geometry. So um, the way I'm going to approach this is I'm going to connect these corners, this corner with this corner, diagonally through this center point. And for that, I'm going to use the edge slice. So I'm going to click, it will snap there, snap here and there, drop the tool, press C again. And now I'm going to go to the vertices, select the middle vertice, press B for bevel, and bevel this out. Drop the tool, select the top poly, B for bevel, click and bevel this out, shift click to bevel more, now bevel this in, shift click, shift click for more bevel, shift click, shift click more bevel, another bevel, shift click and one more bevel and bring this in. Drop the tool. There we go. All right. Now, if I hit the tab key and subdivide, as you can see, is um, I can create more geometry and make those edges nice and smooth. So I'm going to select. I'm going to go to the edges. I'm going to double click here, 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 and here. I'm going to press B for bevel. I'm going to bevel this in. I have round level of two. I will do the same thing here that edge too. Drop the tool.
let's do the same here and lastly those three hold down the shift key double click keep holding down the shift key double click before bevel and we're good to go now um, I didn't um, bevel this edge because um, this bottom part the body of the soap dispenser will have a different material than this mechanism I don't want to have a bevel edge here what I want to have is just a tight polygons here so I'm going to select those two polygons loop slice the count of two symmetry uniform but push it towards the edge hit the tab key I have a nice round edge here which is fine and let's go back to the quad view here now we need to build the nozzle now for that I'm gonna need more geometry so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press shift D and I'm going to subdivide this even more and then I'm going to select these polygons loop slice the count of two uniform drop the tool and I'm ready to um, build the nozzle so the way I'm going to do this I'm going to create a new mesh item I'm going to go to cylinder I'm going to create a cylinder right here let's say 19 millimeters by 19 millimeters and 12 sides that's because I have one two three four five here another five here one and one that's 12 altogether so they are matching and I'm gonna push this out right here I'm gonna drop the tool and what I want to do is I want to have this polygon conformed to this polygon so I'm gonna have my snapping on to constrain to the background I'm gonna press W for move tool and I'm gonna snap this to the background now let's delete those press delete exit the subdivision mode control X or command X control V or command V to paste select those edges go to the edge and bridge those click and now they're bridged okay alright now select this poly we need to flatten this one so I'm going to press R, I'm going to scale this in I'm sorry, I'm going to flatten this this way and I'm going to scale this in on the X 0% press W to move this out drop the tool let's make sure I don't have no constraints B for bevel bevel this out move this up slightly R for scale, scale that in uniformly B for bevel bevel this out here let's undo this there we go bring it down and just rotate it slightly this way let's bring it in I mean scale that in drop the tool and let's create some more geometry here mesh edit loop slice count of two same thing here loop slice count of two if I subdivide this looks pretty good but we can improve and I'm talking about here this edge I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna run a very tiny uh, bevel just a bit gonna drop the tool there we go looks good and right here now I'm gonna select this end polygon press B for bevel I'm gonna bevel this in shift click if 
for another bevel bring that in shift click one more bevel drop the tool tab key and we can improve on the nozzle a little bit so I'm just gonna select these two alpha loop one more bevel let's make sure that group polygon is checked and click once and drop the tool it looks pretty good so I'm gonna go to perspective view here and let's see uh, so got the model All right it looks pretty cool everything's ready uh, and we we finished both the soap dispenser and the soap refill and on the next part we are going to do some texturing and lighting and finish up our product shot